Today's best m- m- music. Magic eighty nine point nine. Today's best music. Magic eighty nine point nine. I'm Zoe from Afternoon Tea, and we're sitting down with a pop star hailing from Thailand. She's both a singer and a songwriter. Welcome to the show, Janine Weigel. How you doing? Hi, I'm doing good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, where are you based right now? Right now, I am in Malaysia in KL. I moved here earlier this year, um, mm-hmm. and I, I actually used to live in Thailand before for nine years, but I haven't gone back since quarantine. <laughs> oh, I see. But you're safe and healthy. Yes, I am. <laughs> and awesome. That's exactly great to hear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, to kick things off, we're gonna play a round of sugar or spice. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> All right, Janine Weigel for Sugar Spice 899. Number one, Barbie dolls. Sugar. Sugar. Do you ever own any as a kid? I used to have a couple when I was a kid, but (laughs) they're all gone now. (laughs) All right. Mine, I still have them, just uh, missing a little parts here and there. Okay, number two, love letters. Sugar. 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 Okay, (laughs) number three, the famous question, pineapples on pizza. Sugar. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Yay. Everybody hates that question. Everybody hates it for I some know, reason. But it's not that bad. It's actually pretty good, I think. <laughs> yeah, the, the whole world is just wrong. You and I, we're, we're correct. You know, we're on the right team. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Number four, singing in the shower. Spice. <laughs> Spice? Really? Okay, thing is, because I live in an apartment now, I feel weird. Because, like, I can hear my neighbors in the bathroom. So oh, I, I see. Hear me, and it's, it's just weird. No, I don't, like, I, I can <laughs> so weird. <laughs> well, you, you never know. You could, you could sing a duet with your neighbor. I mean, <laughs> it, it could happen. It, both of you could supply both parts of the song. But uh, that's a spice for uh, singing in the shower. I see. Okay, number five, TikTok. Sugar. <laughs> Sugar. Okay, fantastic. Let's begin. So your latest single, it's called Passcode. Insanely catchy, and it's got this cheerful, vibrant music video to go along with it. What is the inspiration behind that song? So the song is about falling in love, but mm. being cautious about it and having your guard up because you don't want to get hurt. So it's sort of like asking this guy for his passcode to his heart. <laughs> uh-huh. But at the end, you end up telling him any way that you'd like him, which oh. I wish that would have happened in real life, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's based on real life? Not yet, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. I'm blushing just thinking about it. <laughs> okay, well, uh, it was, I heard that it was produced by Tommy Brown. Is that correct? Yes, it, it's been crazy to to even get to work with him because for Uh listeners who don't know, Tommy Brown has produced Mm. songs for Ariana Ariana Grande and a lot of other artists. And also um, Jesse Reyes, who has written songs for Dua Lipa and Sam Smith, has also um, written a lot in the song as well. So it's like, it's still so overwhelming to think that I had the opportunity to work with those big names, you know? Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, working with a high-profile producer, that just puts you on the map. You know, you're practically set for stardom. It's only up from here. And I know that you're only 20, but I got to say, the musical path that you are on right now, I feel, will only lead to greater things. So did you always want to pursue music? I, I, I knew that I, I love music since I could remember, but mm-hmm. I grew up in a small town, in a small city. I never really thought that that would become something. But once I moved to Thailand when I was 10, I moved to Bangkok and that's like a city of hustle and bustle. And there yeah. were so many opportunities and I actually got into the entertainment industry with acting first. I began from being oh. in commercials, like just like walking in the background. And uh, later on, I would get bigger roles and I also wanted to explore other things other than acting. So when I was 11, I decided to uh uh, singing competition and mm-hmm. then I realized that I really want to pursue music as something more as a hobby so uh once I finished that singing competition I got signed to my first record label and six months in I started my my YouTube channel because at the time like 
YouTubers covers were so big. So I just yeah. want to try it out and see where it goes. And I guess it went pretty well because I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's also amazing to hear that, you know, you were testing the waters and just seeing which one really fits your style. And it's great that you discovered that, that you love music, you know, that singing is your thing. So kudos to you. And you're totally blowing up on TikTok, by the way. You know, half a million followers on TikTok, not to mention a dance challenge uh, featuring your latest single. I got to tell you, if I attempted to do the steps in that challenge, I'd put Mercury back in retrograde or something. But uh, what's interesting is, is that one of our local celebrities, his name is Darren Espanto. He actually danced along to it. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. I, I met him uh, last year at, uh, I think... I was doing like a TV show or something recording and he was uh, recording for another show, but our rooms were right next to each other. So we said, yeah. he's amazing. The first time I heard him sing, oh my God, like I was just blown away. And I noticed <laughs> that every, every singer in the Philippines that I have heard or met so far, all of them have such amazing voices. Like, I don't know, like, is it something in your genes or something? <laughs> it's the karaoke. It's the karaoke. It's an enabler, Janine. Every single house has a karaoke machine. That's really the trick. Wow. <laughs> yes, yes. It's, it's a very Filipino pastime. If, you, if you're Filipino and you don't sing, you're not really Filipino. Like, that's just it. <laughs> All right. And um, so it, it's really cool to see Darren try out your dance challenge. Like, it's kind of like an unintentional collaboration between yeah. you two. So it's really, really exciting to see. And you, you're also featured on a song called Fall in Love With You. And I believe that is a track by Brown, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, yeah. And we, yeah, yeah. So we've got a couple of his songs in our playlist. And, you know, we Filipinos, we completely soak up love songs. It's like our currency here. So in terms of songwriting, what do you like to write about the most? I think just anything that I'm going through in my life. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I would just go about my day and then I, I would have random thoughts or just something that I think might be useful in a song. I'll just write it down in my notes. And once I have the opportunity to go into the studio, I just try to incorporate those notes or those thoughts that I had uh, into the song that I'm writing. So, yeah. <laughs> I see. So it's kind of like a sneak peek of your life, too, or like your diary, even. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I know that everything's a little uncertain right now with the pandemic going on. But listening to your music, you know, getting to know you and your very bubbly personality, you know, just puts a smile on my face. And I'm sure everyone who's watching right now feels the same way. So do you have a favorite quote or a mantra that you tell yourself whenever you're feeling down? Mm. I guess, wow, that's really hard because I feel like my mantra changes every single day. Like sometimes it's one thing <laughs> and the other. But I think yeah. for me, what this year has been in uh, like a summarized version is just taking everything day by day because I'm somebody who, who always likes to do likes to make plans and just like think about the future a lot. But because things are so uncertain right now, you can't really make plans because you don't know if it's going to work out or not. So I feel right. like I want to try to make every day the, the best day that I, that I can make it because I can't, like, I, I can't uh, change anything or, like, I can't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow hasn't come yet, you know? Right, yeah. Take it one step at a time, day by day, and seize yeah. what you can words of inspiration from the multi-talented Janine Weigel. So it's been such a pleasure talking to you. You know, after this interview, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put my hair up exactly how you put it with the space buns and everything. You are a total icon. Um, and thank you so much for uh, taking the time out of your day to do this. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right. To all of you watching, uh, stream Janine's you will not regret it. Stay safe and healthy, everybody. My name is Zoe. And this is today's best music. Magic 89.9. Bye, guys.